Hello, all you fine folk. Welcome to Where the Fun Begins. Not the same. Not the same. Mason has betrayed us. He's not coming back. No, he's working his third job or his fourth job. He's not coming back. Mason is not coming back. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> now, Mason's just working. He's working extra hard. Get that cashola. Get that cash money. If he just had one real job, I'd pay for all his stuff because he still lives, with, still lives with his parents. Well, yeah, I mean, he does live with his parents, but at the same time, Think of how cheap that must be. Yeah, but just think like of said, all the money that you have. One real job, and he would have that taken care of. If it wasn't such a pain living with your parents, man, it's got to be the life. I wouldn't know. Ah, no, I, I think it's probably horrible. But he's troopering on. But anyway, yeah, he's got his fourteenth job, so he's the oldest of among us. He's the oldest among us, even though he's the youngest. He's the oldest, kind of. We miss you, Mason. We All right, first we order here. of business. In roughly one month, the new Avengers movie will be coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's called Infinity War. Part uno. No, I don't think they call it that anymore. I think it's just called Infinity War. It's still part one, though, because they're going to come out the second one. It well, it's not going to be It's not gonna be Infinity War, part two. It's all going to be wrapped up into one now. There was a part two, but they finitoed that with a part none. I'm excited about it. That's all I want. To, that's all I want to talk about. It's gonna be super great. What's your favorite super Marvel hero? Thor. Why Thor? Why Thor? People said that I looked like him. On the once or twice chance, or does people say that all the time? They used to when I had my hair. Yeah. When you had your hair? Yeah. I uh, I really enjoy Captain America. He just seems like an upstanding character. Now he's got a beard. He does. Is, is that why you like him? Because he has a beard? He has a beard now. Yeah. You like your guys rough looking, don't you? I like my guys real rough around all the edges. Because if they're not rough around all the edges, then what are we here for? Damn, I can't get this audio correct. I mean, I'm, t- I'm probably talking qu- quietly. I should probably talk louder. How it's close do you have your mic to your face? I have it's, it right it's here. Not. It's not. It's as far away from mine. Yeah. My voice doesn't carry as right far as yours nipple. does. That's, that's where the soft. That's where the. Um, that's where they say the. Uh, the the audio is the best. Yeah, right next to your nipple. Like how close to the nipple? Uh, is mine. Mine might be a little high, actually. Mine's on the inside. I mean, man, no, that's probably better. That's probably better. It doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. We forget to turn over the hourglass. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters really. Trying to Doctor Strange it. Oh, and now now you're now you're going to the Doctor Strange one. I haven't watched that movie yet, but I'm going to. You haven't watched Doctor Strange? I yet? haven't. I like. I wasn't it. really interested when it came out, so I kind of skipped that one. He but I bought cool... it because I wanted to watch it, and I never just never did. That's exactly what I thought about um, Suicide Squad, and I never watched it. Also bought that, just never watched it. Yeah. Planned on it, but if you look right over there, you'll see that whole stack of movies. Well, here, why don't we have them? Uh... Why don't we go through them. Wait, why are you, why are you doing oh, this? Oh, there, there it goes. goes. Found it. Broken. <sighs> yeah. Ugh. I suppose we can go through them. I, uh, I went through today and dug it all out. You know, if I start now, then I'm, I, I got them all in chronological order. I looked up a list on how you're supposed to watch them. Yeah. I got them. Starting on this side, ending with Thor Ragnarok. Because it's going chronological, right? Yes. Okay. So you start That's out. That's the only way to watch it. The first Avenger. Mm-hmm. Captain America. Well, technically, yeah. I mean, chronological, yes. That's correct. Like, the way it ends is in between a few of them. Yeah, yeah. But the beginning is, I mean, it's from 1940. Yeah. So I think it's the first one. I do, yeah. And I'm not counting any of the TV shows because I don't watch that crap. I'm not going to go and watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. No, I, yeah. I, you know what? If it was like a short season, it would be cool. But there's like 22 episodes a season. Mm. They're ending it, I hear. 
Yeah, but at the same time, too. like that's when I figure if I want to watch a show, how many seasons am I going to have to endure? Like I used to could like watch Lost and 24 and all that, but like not know as open ended. They could have as many seasons as they want. Like hey, Walking Dead. Everything ends. Yeah. Everything ends. Walking Dead's ends. dead to me, by the way. Killed off Carl. I don't watch it, but. Uh, yeah, I heard about it. Spoilers. Yeah. I mean, that was like, what, two Carl. weeks ago? Was it two weeks ago? Yeah. Okay. Damn. Well. All right. Well, then next it's Iron Man. It's the one that started it all, pretty much. Yeah, it's the very first, like, Marvel Universe movie. Where they started tying things together. Yeah. I think The Incredible Hulk might have come out a few months before it. It did, but. But they weren't tying anything together at that point. Yeah. Uh, well, Iron Man 2 comes before that anyways. Yeah. Then Thor. Yeah. And then the Avengers. Hey. Which, did you know that grossed like one and a half billion dollars? Yeah, I think something actually beat it, though, this weekend. Didn't something beat it? Oh, know, Black it's... Panther beat it. That's what it was. Maybe opening weekend. I think, Total yeah. Gross, I, I, I don't think it has yet. I think it was opening I know it's, weekend. I know it's... It or something. Black Panther's now grossed over a billion worldwide. Yeah, it's insane. It's a good movie. Good movie, though. Good quality movie. Good quality movie. Uh, then Iron Man 3. Mm-hmm. Which I liked Iron Man 3. Out of all the Iron Mans, I think it was probably my favorite. Just because it wasn't like the first two. Because I didn't really care for those ones. And it's Thor, The Dark World. I watched that once and barely remember it. It was... What happened? This one where the... Uh, yeah, I remember. I remember what happened. I don't, I don't want to talk about it, though. It was with the Frost Giants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one. Oh, yeah, and then they, they Loki, oh, what? The game, like to... the Aether, the Ether, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, okay, so then we got, what, Captain America Winter Soldier? Yes, I'm... Okay. One of the best movies that they have. One of the best ones. Yeah. It's definitely up there, yeah. yes. It's definitely one of my top two, three, maybe. Guardians of the Galaxy, amazing. I am missing Age of Ultron. What? Oh, yeah, that would, be, that would be right somewhere. there. Yeah, well, yes. I think it would be before that. And then, then it's Guardians, then it's... Oh, you don't have Age of Ultron. I ordered it, but I do not have it currently. And then Volume 2, cool. And then Ant-Man, which honestly was surprising. It was good. Yeah, I liked it. My favorite superhero movie ever, says yes. The Ants on the cover. Says The Ants on the cover. Uh, Doctor Strange, you haven't seen it. It's a good movie. It's like Inception with magic, <laughs> except not a convoluted story. Civil War, also one movie. of the best ones. Spider-Man Homecoming, also one of the best ones. There's a lot of good ones after this. And then Ragnarok, I liked a lot. I think they slowly got better with time. Yeah. You know, as the budget increased, the movies got better. Right, yeah. Weird how that works. It is weird. Of course, when, when you even, even though you may have a good budget, sometimes you still fail. Which is, uh, the guys that, that I work with were arguing about which Spider-Man made, was the best Spider-Man. <sighs> Man. Between... Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, I Tom think, Holland. I think Andrew Garfield could have been a good Spider-Man. It's just he got he got in before Marvel acquired Spider-Man. And honestly, that really sucks. But I, as much as I like Tobey Maguire, he was too old to be Spider-Man. He was too old, yeah. He just didn't fit. Yeah. But honestly, Tom Holland, badass. Well, I mean... Have you seen him dance? Everyone says that he's their favorite. Yeah. And yeah... But at the same time, he's, it's kind of a handicap that he was given. Yeah, I mean, he's earned budget, it. He earned it, though. The budget is way higher. Right, but he earned that. He, he worked hard for that. I mean, if you go back and, and look at all the things that he did to train for that movie, he worked hard at that movie. So, I mean, I, I would say not given, but he was definitely put in a position to succeed if he yeah, could. Yeah, because at the time of the other two, Fox still owned him. Or yeah. No, it was Sony. Sony owned him. Sony, yeah. Sony. I mean, they're not a cheap company, but at the same time, they're not part of Disney. They're Marvel. not Disney, yeah. And they don't have this whole repertoire of things to work with. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, when you've got... And this is all like... This looks like a bunch of different movies, but really, it's a one collective show, honestly. Pretty much. It's a big old, like... It's a big series that I mean, they have a high budget for. Do you ever watch the trailer for the new one? I did watch the trailer for the new one, and it was awesome. It looked good. freaking cool. I like to see Thanos gonna kick some ass it's gonna be badass the question is now who's gonna die man you know it would make sense that iron man died 
he started it. I feel like he's probably the one going to finish it for this one. Either that, I don't think it's going to be Cap. I really don't think it's going to be Cap. I feel like it probably should have been Cap. Well, I mean, in reality, he probably should have bit the dust in Civil War. Well, But the yeah. conclusion of that didn't go the same way it did in the comics. Well, true. That, that's true. And it wasn't about the same things as it was in the comics either. Because in this world, it's not really about their secret identities. It's more about them saving the fucking world and shit. Which, eh, you can kind of argue with that with Spider-Man Homecoming, I guess. Because he was trying to keep his secret identity. But a whole, of, a, whole, a, a whole lot of them don't give a shit about their secret identity. Because it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I could. I mean, uh, I'm trying to go through and. I mean, Captain America was from back in the day. They don't give a shit. Yeah, he, Iron Man. He does not. He's care. very open about it. He is now. Of course, he has the money to protect himself. True. Thor. He's a god. Whatever. <laughs> what are they gonna do to him? Yeah. Uh, Hulk. What, Hulk. He's he ju- he's just in hiding just because. Just because he's a big old green beast. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's only Spider Man really, and Doctor Strange doesn't really. He's not a doctor anymore, really. I mean, no one really knows who Ant Man is. He hasn't done a whole lot yet. True. Okay. Yeah. Paul. Uh. Uh. uh he really hasn't done. But he does have a yet. kit, so he did, probably wouldn't want his identity given. True. Him. Yeah. I am looking forward to Ant Man and the Wasp. That'll be cool. That'll be a good one. Now, speaking of that, we do know of that he's not going to die, Ant Man, in this movie. True. Yeah. Along with Spider Man, because they've announced his second movie. Yeah. So they're effectively safe. Yeah. Which Spider Man did die in the Infinity War, I believe. I think he did die. And Silver Surfer was in the Affinity War, which he's not going to be in this, I'm pretty sure. As long as I, as far as I've heard. I think he's kind of grouped in with the Fantastic Four. Yeah, so man. They, they, they really just need to acquire all of it. They did just buy out Fox. So yeah, they, they've got they Xbox. Have X-Men or they now. have X-Men. I don't know why I said Xbox. But they have X-Men now. So that would be cool. So they're not. So Fantastic Four and X-Men are, are, different, are separate royalties, I guess, too, right? I don't know. I don't know who, who, who owned Fox. I don't know. I feel like they have Fantastic Four now. Maybe they're know. just saving, I don't know. No, they really couldn't do an origin story in, in the third Avengers movie. So, but I wonder what they're going to, I wonder how they're going to incorporate the X-Men into this, if they are even, or if they're just going to let it die. Because <laughs> I would hate to see another origin story for X-Men, which I like how Spider-Man did it. They didn't do an origin story. Everybody knows that. Yeah, everyone just story. knows. Uh... I don't know. This is a the the article I just found is very long, so I'm not gonna sit here and try to decipher it right now. I mean, I'm pretty sure the only movie that Silver Surfer's ever been in is that Fantastic Four. So whoever owns Fantastic Four probably owned him as well. Yeah. Hmm. Which he'd probably help too because he's pretty powerful. I would agree. I would agree. He's very. He's one of the strongest. For reasons. Arguably the strongest is Ant-Man, though. Well, yeah, he's an ant. Arguably. And imagine this. You shrink up. You jump into someone's ear. You unshrink up. It's like that moronic Insta-kill. beast Insta-kill. Yeah. Just like that. Except it's Paul <laughs> Ruddy merging from your body. <laughs> Which would be even better. <laughs> It'd be even better. Even better than a goat. I'm just saying, he could probably insta-kill a lot of people. Yeah. So what, what, day is, what day does it come out? April 27th. Wow. That is very close. Yes. Damn. That's a Thursday, though, right? Uh, I don't know. I haven't even looked. Probably. Damn. I'd I'd go to that. I'd go to the midnight release for that. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of movies that I would go to the midnight release for. Like Star Wars. What's one of the Dark Knight? Dark Knight, yeah. But Hmm. what else? Oh, and the the new Fifty Shades movie. I went to the midnight release for that. But that's been on. Let's not talk about that. The new one? No, I'm kidding. You got anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, well, I, we did get featured on a blog, I guess is what you could call it. A Facebook blog. group. It was called Millennial Parenting. We got featured? We got featured. I sent you a link on this. When? It was on, uh, it was on Tuesday, I believe. No, Wednesday, sorry. Wednesday. And I took a snapshot of it because I was like, why did we get shared? One of our videos got shared. And it said, very cool game. It's, it's, it's about Super Hot VR. And it was our video that we did on Super Hot VR. And it said, um, we, got to, uh, we got to shoot guns and stuff like that. 
in VR, yeah. right? Well, <clears throat> their thing said, very cool game, but kids need to be guided well on this. Feel like you're in the actual game doing actual violence. Hmm. Interesting. And it's got like... Was it not, did you send me a link through text I texted message? you. I think I texted you the, the picture. On, or maybe I... maybe Yeah, I texted you the picture, right? But yeah, it was early in the morning. You might not have seen it. Oh, yeah. And anywho, yeah. I saw your message about you leaving, and that's probably all that I looked at. I probably just saw that. And uh... Yeah. Oh, shit. I uh, almost sent you a message via my voice. Um... Oh, man. Millennial parenting. Yeah. Very I cool did... game, but kids need to be guided well on this. Feels like you're in your actual game doing actual violence. Yeah. Why yeah. did they share our, ours? You know what? I don't know. I don't even know who they are. I really don't. I'm gonna find them on Facebook. Maybe they. Yeah, yeah. You can go to the Facebook, and uh, they've got about 84 viewers, I guess, or something like that. So they're not a very big group. I just don't know who they are, and why our video was so necessary on being there. But because they want to make a point. Yeah, they want to make a point. But I did say I did reply. Um, I said that parents should be super uh, should supervise what their kids watch and play, and I think that's mainly the the big thing about this. Like, if parents are going to, or if you're gonna if you're gonna feature a blog and call us out and say, hey, this game may not be for kids and stuff like that, I, I would I would first look at the rating that it gives, and it's teen rating. So yes, it's definitely not for kids. But again, there are kids playing Call of Duty all the time, and that's rated M. I'm pretty sure. It all stems from, I mean, the ESBR rating system is there for a reason. Yes, but it has to be utilized by the parents. It's just like, it's just like the government right now going through and looking at uh, video games and if, if violence needs to be shut down or some shit. Look, here's the thing. When I get off work, I want to relieve some stress. If you take away my video games, that's when I become real violent. <laughs> no, but, but really... Like they're gonna take this video on Facebook and share it. Oh man, they're, they're gonna, gonna share this video. Saying, I'm gonna be violent. Damn it. Anyway, we should tag them in. Anyway, it's gonna it's gonna have a show clip from you talking about the game. This is where I become it. violent. Yes. <laughs> they're gonna take it out of context. Exactly. They're yeah. gonna take. They, they don't. They don't understand sarcasm and sar and satire and stuff. And like then that. they're gonna go from 84 people liking their page to a million. To 84 million. You're right. 84 million. Um. But regardless, I think that the parents need to take a little bit of, just, just a little bit of extra oomph to go, yeah, this game isn't for my kid. And I think it differs. I think that you can have a 15-year-old kid that understands that this type of game is violent and is unnatural in the real world, but is something that, in a fake reality, it's something that you can totally have fun with and not think too much about. But there are some kids that don't have that type of mentality, aren't that mature to understand. And those kids, yes, you wouldn't... It, it, it all stems on what your child can handle, and you need to be, as a parent, more involved in that. And I, I mean... I don't know. What are your thoughts? I feel like most people have the the uh the brain power to know that it's not real and that you can't do that in real life yeah it's the ones with there's something deeper wrong that they don't understand it mm -hmm. uh it, it kind of irked me but at the same time i'm like i don't know if they were directly talking at us and saying like this is sh sh you shouldn't share but at the same time i'm like i don't imagine that they were targeting us specifically yeah. i mean i know we have younger viewers but at the same time they seem more mature, and I don't know. I don't know for sure, but they, I hope, would know what is right and what is wrong. And if you don't know, I hope that you would at least ask your parents or somebody that you trust to well, know. Let's be kids, the kids these days know what a video game is. Yeah, they know it's fake. It's fake. I mean, and and and. Just saying that I know that there's probably, and I like to play devil's advocate sometimes, but I know there's somebody out there that's like, that's cool, I want to do that. But at the same time, there's people like that as adults, too. There's people like that of all ages that are, that are consciously thinking that shit. And I think that they just need help and mental 
mental issues need to be a thing that need to be addressed for gun violence, for video games, for whatever, you know, like there's a lot of stuff out there that need to be addressed, but mainly it could come back to if we're spending a lot of time looking at mental health and looking at some of those issues. But I just thought that was a neat little feature that we had or whatnot. I don't know if you want to call it a feature, but... Uh, let it be known that Mason is not here to do the Mason Explains It All segment. And uh -oh. We cannot remember what the question is, so I'm going to explain to you where the, uh, the noise comes from whenever you snap your fingers. The noise does not come from the friction. A, a tiny noise does, yes. But the majority of the noise comes from your finger gliding off of your thumb, hitting your palm. Everyone at home, try to snap your fingers without your finger hitting your palm and making that loud noise, and it's not going to happen. Jory explains it all. Blunt and to the point. Suck it, world. Thank the you. hero we need and deserve. Yes. Um, and we did get... Actually, I got this email today, actually. Um, Extra Life just, uh, just released their uh, fundraising total from 2017 that we were a part of. And we definitely didn't, didn't even, like, scratch even the surface of what they raised but they raised over 11 million dollars so that was cool something i saw and i was like hey that's neat you the real cool. mvp you yeah. donators you yeah that's cool it's neat that's a lot of money that's a lot of money that's a lot of money it's a lot of tax write-offs hey you could be a, you could have a tax write-off if you donate to extra life link in the description below um but yeah for, for, uh, for real, though, we are going to be doing some stuff next month about Extra Life, so it's going to be real fun. Um, we're going to be going to y YC3, and we're going to have next week, I believe it's next week, that we're going to have uh, Brandon Biggers, who was on uh, was, was there at the Extra Life event last year, and we talked to him for just a little bit, but we're going to have him on next week. It also helps run the local con. Yeah. One of the two. One of the two, so... Um, the YC3 Extra Life event and then the YC3 actual Comic-Con event. Um, he runs both of those, or helps run both of those. And he's going to come and kind of share some stuff with us and uh, hopefully talk about some nerdy things as well. I don't really know how nerdy he is, but we're going to find out. <laughs> but Oh, and I another small fact. We had 642 videos as of today that I looked at. Yeah. A lot of videos. 642? 652. Oh, you know, I thought you just said 42. That's a lot. It's a lot of videos. We are also eight <laughs> trash treasures away from 100. <gasps> we got to do something real special for 100. Oh, Abby. No, 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 no. no. Oh, man. No, no, it's, no, it's always about... What time is it? No, 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 no. I think she's stuck in my room. Nope, nope. All right, well, let's just wrap this up. All right, yeah, uh, uh, Abby's coming, Abby's coming. I don't know what else I was going to say. <laughs> just keep hearing terrifying. doors and we're like, oh no. I don't know where she's at. She's going to just bust through eventually. I hear her. I, and, and she's then, like the raptors on the on the little glass at, in Jurassic Park. <laughs> where, what were we even talking about? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. Oh, 100. 100. Yes, something big is going to happen for 100. <laughs> You're so, breathing. Today in gaming, uh, 27 years ago, Super Mario Brothers came out. Yep, there you go. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. We gotta find out. Uh, where's the N64? Oh, it's right there. Are we gonna do some gameplays of the N64? I mean, I'm sure we can. Sweet. When? What, what game do you want to play? I don't know. Sometime we need to play some Banjo Kazooie. We need to play some. Not I don't Rush. Have Banjo Kazooie. I I could find Banjo because I, I have Banjo Kazooie. I'm sure somewhere. You say that, but I've never seen it. But it's there somewhere. We could we could do Conker's Bad Fur Day. No one wants to see that. I do. I've never actually played the game. Never played it. Mm -mm. It's a great game. Uh, Perfect Dark. Absolutely terrible. We can't play Perfect Dark. Oh, it's in a box. It's still wrapped up. I don't want to take it out of the wrapper. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, what's that? James Bond Gold member. Gold Gold Finger. Go Golden Eye. Golden Eye. Yes. Whatever the uh, fuck. Uh, I'm trying to think. Super Mario 64 speedrun. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> no. That, that one's such a long, drawn-out game. It's, it's fun, though. It's a fun game. <gasps> Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. I have, I have that one in Majora's Mask. 
I had Majora's Mask. I don't have the expansion pack for it, though, anymore. Mm. I went. Damn it. But yes, we'll be, we'll be back next week with uh, an interview and uh, some fun talks. And Mason probably still won't be here. Right. Well, he, he, this is probably how it's going to go. This is probably how the podcast is going to go. During the summer months, he's going to be working. And so during the winter months, when he should be hibernating, he's going to be out and roaming around. Yeah, because he feels like he needs to mow with his boss. The guy he already has to spend six hours with during the day. I mean, what's another seven hours, right? Three hours. Four? Anywho. I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't. I couldn't I mean, spend I could. any more time with... Well, But I don't want to. My boss is okay. Your boss is... <laughs> they don't watch this. My bosses don't like me. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say. But anyway. So, uh, yeah. Where the Fun Begins. Season 2. <laughs> New and improved. <laughs> or just worse as they go along. Not like the Marvel movies. We don't have a budget. We do have a budget. It's just very small. Yeah, it's very small. We need the Marvel budget. We need Disney to pick us up. We promise we're not Lo- Logan Paul. We promise. Give us $200 million. We'll, we'll prove You'll to you that we're not Logan again. Paul. <laughs> yeah. never see me again. <laughs> I'll stop posting right now. All right. I don't know how to end this now. Yeah. I'm, normally, I just wait till Mason says something, and then I just end it. Yeah.